makes it so that it's not, um, it doesn't have to be industry specific. So buyers and suppliers in different industries can speak to each other. Can you talk about how um, that impacts the future of the network and the possibilities? Yes, initially, uh, the, way we, the way we project Alumica is that we are focused on the process industry. However, our solution, which is built ground up from the bedrock, it is very process agnostic. It's very industry agnostic, if I may, because the standard processes between buyers and suppliers are pretty universal throughout the world. A buyer is always going to buy goods from a supplier. A supplier is always going to ship goods. A supplier is going to invoice once they ship goods. So assuming there is similarity between business processes and we've done the right thing by breaking it down into unique business signals that have unique fields that are kind of similar and can be related across different business signals, you can actually abstract it out and apply it to any industry where you have a buyer, a supplier, and a logistics service provider in this context. So yes, we've, we've built a process and industry agnostic solution with this approach. And, and you will see it as we, as we go along. You're going to see more and more industries come in. Uh, and remember, we say process industries, but we actually, some of the companies that belong to the process industries serve other industries. So automobiles, for example, consumer packaged goods, uh, as another example. So we are already in that space. It's just that, can we get into their supply chain in the same way we got into the process industry supply chain? The answer is absolutely yes. We may need to make a few minor changes, but fundamentally from the ground up, the system supports an industry agnostic approach. Uh, further, since these fields are unique, and in combination they can, they can actually orchestrate a business process, what we can also do is open this up to external parties. So if there is a shipment, uh, or if there is a ship notice that came in, and we need to actually look at the Stat, actual status of the shipment. So we need an update on the ETA. We could actually go out to third-party companies, get updated ETAs. And remember, ETA is also a, a business concept. So the ETA comes back as an updated ETA in this message, and it can go back to the buyer. So all that is possible because we've built these things as standalone services that are completely decoupled in nature, and they almost always interact with the universal business concepts or the business documents or a subset of the business concepts. And once you orchestrate a process flow like this, then anything is possible.